rain. Did it come out of nowhere? Or was it related to some tropical? No, nah, it's just mo it was moisture coming off the the Atlantic. That system just kind of sat there. Yeah. I have a friend on the Upper East Side. I was texting a lot today, and uh, he obviously didn't go anywhere. Couldn't. But I'm thinking about all the people that live in basements in New mm -hmm. York City. I mean, that's going to take a long time to fix. The subway system was a mess, but so we can't complain about the the little yeah, bit we've had here. Right. Could have had a lot worse. Yeah, we dodged a big bullet on that mm -hmm. one, uh, and, and that will clear next couple of days. So will our system. Okay. It's great news. Take a live look outside for Rundle Mills. Uh, a few clouds on the horizon. We could just catch them with the uh, light the distance. Otherwise, things are pretty quiet. That mist and drizzle still possible overnight. Run into a little bit of fog in the morning, too. If that's something that slows you down or your area sees a lot of fog, uh, just allow a little extra time early tomorrow morning. So let's jump to future cast and we'll go uh, towards Saturday morning. Overnight clouds stick around. Rain tries to sneak in here from the northeast, but uh, can't quite make it. Our area starts off mostly dry. I think we could still see a little bit of mist and drizzle early in the morning but skies will clear. Midday, some rays of sunshine breaking through. Still fairly cloudy. The first half of Saturday is not the best looking. I'll level with you, but by the time we get to the afternoon, more sunshine working its way in 2, 3, 4 p.m., getting better, and then into the evening hours. Of course, the sun will have long set at this point, but uh, that cloud cover breaking up a little bit more. We're back to starshine overnight, and that sets us up Sunday for a beautiful start to the day. Blue skies here, few uh, leftover clouds, but that'll clear fast. I expect a lot more sunshine for the second half of the weekend and warmer temperatures too. We're talking numbers getting back to near 80 degrees uh, despite the north wind. Not enough to cool us off. So that's the next couple of days. We'll take you into early next week, broadening the vantage point here. Lots of dry time expected early on Monday, Tuesday. High pressure settles in and warmer air to follow. Our numbers uh, climb back into the low 80s early next week. Temperatures running uh, pretty mild. Maybe you want to get out this weekend and try to catch some fall color. We're just starting to see some change in northwest Maryland. A couple of counties just seeing uh, leaves starting to switch over. This is from the Department of Natural Resources, updated every week. Drought playing an impact here too. We made big improvements. Ophelia from a week ago uh, eliminated a lot of the drought, but still dry conditions in some spots. That can mute fall colors, so know that some of that's still in the state. But uh, we made big strides. Drying out Saturday, near 80 on Sunday, and then 81 by Monday. Temperatures staying warm early next week. It's cool overnights near 60, warm afternoons. Things looking pretty good early in the week. Starting to cool off Thursday, Friday, brings in some clouds. Highs in the mid-70s. Signs will get cooler than that for the second week of October, Kelly.